What can you possibly say at a time like this to offer comfort to someone who doesn't even know yet if their loved one is dead or alive, or to first responder going through the rubble looking for victims? That's the job of clergy and mental health professionals who report for duty to the scenes of catastrophic events. CBS4's Joel Waldman is live with the tremendous psychological toll of this tragedy. Joel? Lauren and Elliot, good evening to you. I learned today from clergymen there's not much that you can say. You just have to sort of be there and listen and be present. Now, today we are learning that there were two funerals from those recovered from the rubble, and for another father, it was an equally heart wrenching day. An incredibly candid moment, at once both devastatingly sad and incredibly uplifting. A father whose son was found in the rubble, taking time in his darkest moment to thank a rabbi and police officer who both assured this dad they'll remain by his side. We're not going to abandon Miami Dade Police Detective Angel Rodriguez, who normally speaks to the public for a living, understandably choosing to keep the sanctity of this moment private. Letting Rabbi Yossi Harlig speak instead. When the father was hugging Angel, he was hugging Angel and he was hugging all the angels of the Miami Dade Police Department, of all the first responders. A tired, overworked group with a thankless job, as the rabbi pointed out, but one they wouldn't give up for anything. I know for them this is also very difficult because they look at that, that building as their family members. Actually, there's some police that lost family members in there. Some firefighters have relatives in, 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 in that building. Casa church pastor Ezekiel Fatore emphasizing the importance of something so simple yet so powerful, just being there. If they want to cry, we cry with them. If they want to have hope, we have hope with them. Hope even this father can still cling to knowing his son can now offer celestial help to others still searching for answers. He said that his son is now an angel in heaven, heaven and he feels that God gave him a gift. And you heard that correctly, the father telling the rabbi that it is a gift that he'll be able to bury his son. A truly incredible remark at such a difficult time. Elliot Lauren.